a lot of people died, a lot of people are suffering. I'm very sad because uh, my country is in great difficulty. Three days after the 35 second quake that's left a devastating mark on the Western Hemisphere's poorest nation, the situation in the streets of Haiti's capital shows little sign of improvement. It's really been, really been hell. By any measure, the scope of the disaster in Haiti is massive. The magnitude 7.0 earthquake that struck Tuesday evening was the strongest on the island of Hispaniola in 64 years. Across Port-au-Prince, many Haitians have left their homes and are now living in tent cities that have popped up everywhere. Why? Well, because of the continuing aftershocks and the fact that so many of the buildings that are still upright have large cracks in them. Well, I was unprepared for what's happening here in Haiti. We landed at the airport uh, coming in where people are desperately trying to get out. The images from Haiti are heartbreaking. Homes, hospitals, and schools are destroyed. Families searching for loved ones, parents trying to feed their children, but we can all do something. The bodies are terrible to see, but you can look away. The smell, you can't escape. It's not really even a smell. It's so strong, you can taste it. Today, I tasted death. The losses that have been suffered in Haiti are nothing less than devastating. Responding to a disaster of this magnitude will require every element of our national capacity. 